G'day guys, Josh here and I'm going to be talking about optimizing your league strategy in this video. Before I get stuck in, if you haven't already watched my optimizing strategy in head to head video, make sure to check that out because basically everything in that video also applies to league tournaments. In my opinion, the most important thing in operating successfully and winning as many tournaments as you can in League vs League is communicating with your other League members. Make sure that you are regularly talking about the League you're facing, some strategies you have in mind. I think personally, I think it's a really good idea for the commissioner and for the admins to have some ground rules in place too, so that everyone has a clear understanding of what's expected. And that way you're all going in as a team to every tournament, you've got a clear strategy in mind and that's the best way to get the outcomes that you want. And obviously that outcome is winning as many tournaments as possible because that's the only way to get those league versus league tokens to use in those sets. Uh, and some of those rewards are pretty good too, like the 87 plus uh, elite that's specific to those league versus league tokens. Uh, I think I'm currently 25 out of 60 for that set and I can't wait until I unlock my first league versus league elite. Now, some of the strategies that I personally uh, or our league personally uses is when you're facing an opponent, you only target someone that is of equal or higher franchise overall. So I'm at the top right there, Josh, 87 overall. I would only target an opponent that's also 87 overall or higher. The reasons for that, number one, it means that you are taking out harder opponents early, and that, that's good if you're playing at the start of the tournament because it's leaving, um, and I guess that rolls into the second part of it, it leaves the easier opponents for the end of the tournament, which is clutch time. That's where you really need to make sure you're getting that margin to win the close tournaments. You've got the easier opponents left to face. If there's imbalances, then you just communicate with your league mates, it all comes back to communicating and you figure out who you're going to play. I would also suggest only playing a single opponent. Um, that way everyone gets a go at the classic, everyone gets a go at the NBA. But once again, if for some reason that doesn't work for you, communicate with your league mates, let everybody know what's going on and you can work around that. That's not a problem at all. Make sure that your team is set up exactly the same as the head-to-head -head video, a coach that works for you. And if you, if we go back to the league, uh, go back into the tournament, if there are multiple opponents you could play that are your overall or higher, then maybe have a look at which one matches the, the gameplay style that you prefer to play against. Uh, so this one here is a balanced gameplay style. I have no problems playing against that, but there's another 90 overall towards the bottom. And if I have a look, Actually, both of his uh, drives have been played, so that's fine. But if he was a defensive NBA lineup, then maybe I'd want to uh, play against him because I personally find it a little bit easier to play against the defensive lineup. Uh, the final thing that's pretty important is to keep in mind that you win league tournaments as a team. So there's no room for individual heroism. It doesn't matter if your score is awesome if you played the lowest over opponent and you're screwing the rest of your teammates that's not really the team thing to do so don't just go after your own uh, highlight plays and record scores play opponents that are going to make it easier for everyone in your league not just you so it's not just about looking out for yourself it's about getting the win as a team play together as a team communicate and that's how you're going to get as many wins as possible Thanks for watching the video guys. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you learned something and please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more of this type of content.